what will be the major product in this reaction this is friedel craft acylation reaction so in the first step we generate a electrophile and then we do electrophilic aromatic substitution So AlCl3 acts as a Lewis acid. It is an electron deficient compound. So it can gain electrons from chlorine and it will form a complex. chlorine will have plus formal charge and aluminum will have minus formal charge in the next step we can break this carbon chlorine bond to generate electrophile ch3co plus and alcl4 minus is the inorganic product CH3CO plus is also called acylenium ion. Acylenium ion is resonance stabilized and it is very stable. So we can write resonating structure for acylenium ion. and this structure is very stable and the reason is octet of each atom is complete in this case and this is the reason friedel craft acylation but does not have any rearrangement so there is not a carbocation rearrangement in case of friedel craft acylation so friedel craft acylation is free from rearrangement Now we have generated the electrophile. Now we can do electrophilic aromatic substitution. So benzene ring will act as nucleophile, and acylenium ion will act as electrophile. And we will get this product. In the next step we can lose H plus to gain aromaticity to give the final product. So this is the final product in this reaction. So let us try this problem. So we have a benzene ring and this react with PHCOCl and the catalyst use is AlCl3 what will be the major product this time again this is a friedel craft acylation reaction so we will generate the electrophile and this electrophile will attack on benzene ring to give final substitution product So this will be the final product for this reaction. What will be the product if this compound is treated with ZnHgHCl? ZnHgHCl is known as Clemenson reduction. 
So this reagent is used for Clemens and reduction. And what happens in Clemens and reduction? CO group is converted into CH2 group. So in this case, this CO group will be converted into CH2 group. So this will be the final product. So let us try this problem. Benzene is treated with CH3COCl in the presence of AlCl3. This gives product A. And when A is treated with NH2NH2OH minus, this gives product B. We have to identify A and B. The first reaction is simply Friedel-Craft acylation. So A will be this molecule. Now the second reaction is Wolf-Kissner reduction. And this reaction again converts a CO group to CH2 group. So if CO group is treated with N2H4OH minus, that is NH2NH2OH minus, basic medium of hydrazine, N2H4 is also called hydrazine, so this is alkaline hydrazine, this converts into CH2 group. So when compound A will be treated with N2H4OH minus, it will generate benzene that has side chain CH2CH3. So there are two methods by which we can convert a CO group to CH2 group. One is NH2NH2OH minus, that is basic medium. Another is ZNHGHCl, that is acidic medium. So let us try product in this reaction. This compound is treated with AlCl3. What will be the major product? This time again, first we will generate electrophile that is a selenium ion. So we have a selenium ion. Now benzene will act as nucleophile, it will attack on this carbon. Now the next step we can lose H plus to get the final product. Now this is an example of intramolecular Friedel-Craft acylation because electrophile is also in the same molecule. So we are generating electrophile from the same molecule. So this is a intramolecular Friedel-Craft acylation. Now what will happen? 
if this compound is treated with the same compound is treated with ZnHgHCl ZnHgHCl will convert CO group to CH2 group that is Clemens and reduction so we will have this product now when this is treated with palladium in the presence of carbon this reagent do dehydrogenation so finally we will have this as the product so we will remove two mole of hydrogen so one hydrogen from here one hydrogen from here and the next two hydrogen one from here and one from hydrogen so palladium in the presence of carbon this can be used for dehydrogenation in this case we have removed two mole of hydrogen and this compound is aromatic because it has 10 pi electron that satisfy Haeckel rule 4 n plus 2 so if I plug n equals to 2 so we will have 10 pi electron and this compound has 10 pi electron 2 4 6 8 10 so we have 10 pi electron here so it satisfies Huckel rule. Now let us try this reaction if benzene is treated with this compound in the presence of AlCl3 this gives A when A is treated with zinc Sg HCl it gives B and when B is treated with palladium in the presence of carbon B have C now it is also given A has two ring so this is given that compound A has two ring so you have to define a structure of A B and C so what is the structure of A B and C so first term this is a Friedel craft acylation we will have two time Friedel craft acylation so if I do first time Friedel craft acylation we will have this product and if I do one more time so this is first time Friedel craft acylation and this is second time Friedel craft acylation so this is product A now when A is treated with ZnHgHCl CO group will be converted into CH2 group so we will have this product that is B now when B is treated with palladium in the presence of carbon this will do dehydrogenation so we will have this compound and this compound is aromatic so this is a structure of C so in this tutorial we discussed about Friedel craft acylation reaction first you have to generate a acylenium ion and then you have to do electrophilic aromatic substitution Friedel craft acylation has no rearrangement and another important point using Friedel craft acylation you can prepare side channel alkane by using Clemenson reduction or Wolf-Kistner reduction that can convert CO to CH2 group 